10 seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team ban. Radiant team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. <sighs> Dire team ban. Radiant team pick. Timber saw. Dire team pick. Venomancer. Dire team pick. Radiant team pick. Bang. Radiant team ban. <clears throat> Dire team ban. So, now that my mic's on, oh, God, guys, I'm sorry, I feel old some days. So, anyway. We've got the Elder Titan ban, we've got the Alchemist ban, banning out the Furion, because Furion caused him so Ten much trouble these last two games, banning out the Visage because of how effective he was last game, Radiant Invoker team banned team. out, they just, they're not putting up with any of these guys from last game that caused him so much trouble. But, on the meantime, Swagger has went ahead and picked up Venomancer, Luna, they're like, alright, we can play with different heroes, we're not constrained. Ten seconds. So Nolas remaining. on the other hand picks up Timbersaw and Bane. Timbersaw Five is just pure damage remaining. flying around, blades all over the place. Ah! And Bane's just like Dire lockdown, lockdown, ban. you're dying. Dragonite, the ultra tank. Radiant team it's like, oh, pick. we banned out Life Stealer because we don't want you to stop our Dragon Knight. And no no sacred arrows from the woods knocking people out either. So they're doing a very good job of controlling this. Now, looking at the bills, I could definitely see a Dragonite going mid. Don't know if he'll be up against the Timbersaw. Timbersaw could be either solo lane or... Ten seconds but remaining. But Venomancer and Luna are probably going to be in the same lane. Luna's going to be babysat there. Five and seconds remaining. It's really going to be a tri-lane situation. Reserve now, said Nolis, on the other hand, they really haven't picked up anyone that needs babysitting yet. The only support they've picked up is a Bane. They can still run with the mindset of a duel. Though, let's be honest, everybody runs the tri-lane nowadays. Just because it's easier to have two supports to do stack, pull, all that stuff at the same time on one lane with nothing to worry about on the other lane. So it does allow for a lot more effective use of your time for your supports. Though it does make it very hard for them to ward the other side of the map. <laughs> So you have to start out giving away. So. They banned out the Magnus. Hey, don't get me wrong. They landed a couple of good RPs. Like, we're talking some very nice four, five man, three man RPs. But they weren't able to follow them up. And are they worried now that those RPs stacked up with the Luna? Getting her ult off, or the Venomancer getting his ult off, Dragon Knight tossing out the Dragon's Breath. Yes! Dire I love it! Pick. They picked up Slark! Slark's not a tank, you just can't kill him. Because all he does is step behind the tree and then come back out full health. Shadow Shaman! <laughs> Shadow Shaman, Radiant I'm gonna disable you and keep you from running away. <laughs> oh, and that Hex is pretty evil too. Slark doesn't like either one of those. But. 
can still fire his disables off him and just really kind of limits him down a lot. So I'm seeing Venomancer, Shadow Shaman, Luna on a tri lane, Dragon Knight Ten mid. Seconds remaining. And now I'm kind of curious of what they're going on their off lane. Options still Five available. Clockwork remaining. hasn't been banned out. Neither has Bounty Hunter. Two very good choices for off lane. Reserve time. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen a lone druid played on off lane, but uh, you know, I guess it's still effective. I'm trying to think, what else would they have available that? Huh. Ten seconds remaining. Uh, Jakiro, yeah, secondary Dire support. Bang. Are they gonna? Yeah, they're gonna put. That's a very aggressive tri lane there. You're looking at a Bane, Snark, and Jakiro on the tri lane. The aggression coming out there is just outstanding. Ban out the puck. I've seen puck used for her off lane, not as effectively as you'd want, but he does a very Ten good job of remaining. shutting down Dragon Knight in mid, which might be their whole fault. They don't want to run remaining. any risk of Dragon Knight being absolutely shut down. Clockwork is banned Dire out, team so. Pick. Maybe a bounty hunter? Or Nyx. Nyx is always a good one. Radiant team pick. Now I have seen a few people where they switch out the Dragon Knight and the Nyx. Put the Nyx in mid and Dragon Knight on the solo. Not really sure how much I like that, but we'll see. I think Nyx on the solo would probably work out better for him. He just has to be very careful. It's, I don't know, we'll see. I mean, it's one of those, I've Ten seen a lot of different remain. plays, but yet again, it always goes back to how good they can play with that hero Five and what, what their actual plans are with it. I mean, remember, once Shadow Shaman hits level 6, that's an instant dead tower. Because all he does is drop his wards and destroy them. So, it is what it is on that one. So, as we're getting ready to move in on the game, Shadow Fiend. Love the pick. Absolutely just destroys mid and does great in team fight situations all the way around in combination with that tri lane I mean you figure you get the pounce leash you also get Bane's nightmare Takiro's ice path they all work so well with shadow fiend coming up in there getting in position and being able to do his ult so it's gonna really allow for a lot of damage to be kicked out there Ten seconds We're just waiting remaining. on Sid and Lewis to get their last guy ready. You know how it is? Five During the draft, you take your break, you run to the bathroom, you come back and all of a sudden draft's over and you're like, Oh my god, I gotta go. I'm coming guys, I'm coming. Sorry. So, <laughs> they have to pause. He's still, he's still making the run for it, I guess. But we'll go ahead and start out introducing the Dire. <laughs> Venomancer is being played by Baga. Ned is hanging out on Shadow Shaman. Colts 22 is hanging out on the Luna. Fordor Fabian is hanging out with the Dragon Knight. And Yaya has got the Nyx Assassin. Flipping over the Radiant side. TNC Supreme hanging out on the Shadow Fiend. Bane being picked up by Zizou. Soizor has got the Timber Saw. Lion has got the Slark. And as soon as the other guy gets here, we'll find out who's playing him. The Jakub Bro. Nobody's picked up any couriers yet. Nobody's anything fancy. I still think you've got a really solid tri lane coming out of the Radiant side here. Timbersaw is probably going to be your off lane. He has a great escape mechanism with the Timber Chain. The reactive armor just allows him to sit there and tank so much damage. But. That is still a nasty set of disables coming out over here. You've got the slow from Venomancer to kick that as stunt. That. You've got Shadow Shaman with his shackles or his hex. Really shut you down. Luna. Lucent Beam does a decent stun. So there's a lot of damage and slow coming out there that could really mess up Timber Chain trying to escape. So, real things to pay attention to, guys. Needless to say, Roche is still in his pit guarding it very well. Doesn't want anyone in there either. Apparently, somebody had chocolate in the back. I don't know. I think they're lying to us, but everyone keeps going in there and beating him up to take his candies. <laughs> I hate 
pauses in games, guys. So long. So, let's go ahead and look at the gold graph. Oh, yes, much. Mm. XP, yeah, oh, I learned a lot there. Items. Oh, man, the items. Oh, by the way, we did learn another guy's name. It's Freezer. Freezer is going to be playing on Shakiro. <laughs> nice name choice. I think it would have been better if you would have picked up an AA. So, Crystal Maiden. Either one of those would be entertaining with that name. So, Jakiro allows for a lot of capabilities. People don't really people really underestimate his fire. How long? Very long. One minute. Was that one minute ago or one minute now? So, how's everybody enjoying these these new towers and all come in from the New Bloom Festival? I kind of like them. I personally can't wait till they really open it up to allow a lot of other people to do more with these maps. I mean, it's showing that there is capability to get in there and really do a lot of small things. I don't get me wrong. I love straight up Dota. But I always love seeing what new and crazy ideas other people can come up with. I mean, some of the, the really interesting items that have been coming out, they've been hanging out in the marketplace, out in the community, like workshops and all. Just kind of dig through there. Sometimes you find some real gold, and I've personally been waiting on a Ricky set to come out for a while now. Yeah, yeah, I know. Dirty Ricky, bad, bad. But <laughs> some of the sets I ha that I have now for some of them is just kind of like, uh... You know? So I always hope to see something really good. Yay, Chikiro, thanks for visiting us. Are you ready? No, no, another minute. Sorry, guys. Just give another minute. Just one more. One minute. We had to explain to him that he was the last guy, so he got stuck with Chikiro. <laughs> That's happened so many games. as I finish making these decisions, give them a few minutes. Don't mind me guys, I'll adjust things while I'm waiting. Gee! Yay! Alright, game on! Come on! Right, so Nyx looks like he's going on the solo. Dragonite's gonna go out to the mid. Venomancer, Shadow Shaman, and Luna are gonna go play on top because she really needs to be fed. And the more they protect her so she can get that farm, the better. Awesome bunny over here on the radiant side. And they've got the sexy red hoof over here on the dire. So fitting on the dire side. <laughs> I guess you're only allowed to have the red hoof on the dire side. Can't have it on the radiant. It doesn't match. It's a clash. Oh. So we got all five of them over here. Just kind of chilling over there in their jungle. They don't want to be invaded too early. But Slark's the only one kind of hanging out up there. He's kind of like, oh, okay, I'm just going to walk around. Haven't leveled anything yet. Got the capability of putting up his pounce if he really needs it. 30 seconds. Well, he's really just trying to make... Oh, gets a nice ward off here on the upper ground. Shuts down that. They're pinging right away, though. There's the sentry ward. Goes straight into it. Not going to put up with that. Shuts it down before the first set even gets a chance. And they're going to go ahead and ward over there on the woods. Making sure they can see the room position. Big keys, good spots. Supports are doing their job. The battle begins. Now, very nice ward up here. It's going to give them a lot of vision, a lot of control. Regen pops up at the bottom. No one really cares. No bottles are out yet. So, it's kind of like, eh, okay, it's a regen. Good for you. Bane, just kind of floating around, not sure if he's thinking about trying to cause some trouble in the mid here before he leaves, or if he's just going to let Timbersaw and them fight it out. Now with Timbersaw there, we got Shadow Fiend on a lane with Dragon Knight. That's going to be very entertaining. Slark's going to take the solo lane, has a very good escape. Once he has a dark pack up, he's going to be able to pretty much just, you know, debuff and run away. So, not too bad for him, but he has to be careful. Still can get knocked out pretty easily. Not able to really get up in the lane like he'd like to. 
But Bane, on the other hand, wanting to pick a fight. Still hasn't really leveled anything yet, though. So, they've already started pulling the lane, making sure it stays back there. Looks like Jakiro's even going for a double. Gonna make sure he kills off everything he can. Nyx, on the other hand, is like, okay, fine. You wanna annoy me? I'll just come poke at your heroes. Supports are really squishy. Slark was thinking about taking a fight. Could not get in the position he wanted to. Was not doing enough damage. So he just kind of steps back safely. Gets himself... Oh, he's thinking about going back up. He's thinking. He's thinking. Pounces up in just a few. You can use to come back up. Oh, better be careful. They see you in the poker tool. So... Alright, so, last hit wars, guys. Timbersaw, he's not winning that great, but he's winning. Slark, eh, he ain't got nothing. But he's doing a good job staying alive, like he should. Even having a hard time getting experience just so he can level up. So, he's really got to be careful here. They are working on trying to take out this Nyx. A lot of damage coming down here. They might, oh, there they go, scooping him out. Jakiro gets the first kill, and that's always nice. Yet again, that's a very aggressive lane, allows them to get in there and cause the damage. Nightmare allows them to get into position and set up very well. I think if they were spread out a little bit better, they wouldn't have gotten two on that impale. But either way, they still got to pick him off fairly nicely. Dragon Knight having to play Bottle Wars here. Just go back and forth with Courier. And same thing going for Timbersaw. They're just like, okay, bottles, bottles, pick the bottles for me. Give me a fresh bottle. Meanwhile, Slark isn't getting any farm. He's not, he's still sitting at 118 on experience because he just really can't get in there and do anything. Venomancer, spotting him out, pushing him back, not really letting him get any farm. He's trying to just hug the bottom of the cliffs here to at least get the farm out of that. And just not getting it because they're doing a very good job of shutting him down for even getting close. Looks like, oh, Shadowfiend was in a little bit of trouble there as Nyx wanted to play some games. Got his spike care pace up. He's not going to put up with getting tapped around too much. Here comes Bane around from the backside, though. Going to go ahead and try to shut him down. Trying to think of when the best time to do it. Drops the Nightmare. Puts the Ice Path down. Pulls the Nightmare. And just, they're going to start dealing out some serious damage. Stuns are going down, though. And they pick him off fairly nicely. Shadowfiend loves free kills. And it's only going to help get him tankier faster. Big thing to is those ganks are really getting the money going in their direction. But if you look, with Slark being unable to farm, look how hard that gold graph dives. Just because he can't do anything on the top lane. He's trying to use the time he can, but he's just not getting anything done. Timbersaw, on the other hand, looking for a rune. Notices it's on bottom. Not going to be able to get there before. But Chikiro's coming around the corner, might be able to land. Radiance bottom is he tower pick the fight? is under attack. No, he's not going to pick the fight. He's going to stay back safely. And unfortunately, Shadowfiend's just focusing on getting his souls up. Not really worried about much. Nyx, on the other hand, is going to try to slip in behind here and get himself some really <laughs> nice hits. There's a couple of fake outs on the impale. Trying to pretty much force the fight. Unfortunately, this is going to be a bad situation. He even got himself where he doesn't need to be. They're going to pick him off yet again. Remember the old rule. You don't want to be the guy in the solo lane that gets picked off more than once. Looks like Bane's going to get the last hit. Not going to allow him to walk away. No escape out of that one, guys. But Slark is trying really hard to let this lane come to him. He's been kind of patiently waiting... Still has the same amount of experience he had when he first took this fight. But he's just really unable to get in there and do the damage he wants. Jakiro's coming up, not going to put up with this crap anymore, and would really like to catch somebody off the spot. Just unable to really get in there and kick anything out. Got the ice path ready, but as long as those wards are going down, they're messing up anything. Lucent Beam's doing a good mini stun every time they try to get in there and Radiant's cause the damage. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Bane's even come up top. They're thinking about picking the fight. Oh, just barely missed her. They wanted to pick her, 
the Luna off, but just missed it. Now Shadow Fiend's actually unprotected on the bottom here against the Nyx. Nyx might take advantage of that. Mana Burn is back up and Impale, so he could really do a lot of damage if he's given the opportunity. Uh oh, and backup's coming up behind him. Smoked up Shadow Shaman coming up behind. If Shadow Fiend doesn't get back, he's going to be in a lot of trouble here. Because they can't even verify it at this point. Slark's getting his heal back on. And Shakiro's on his way back over. But there's an Invis rune on the Dragonite as he follows behind. They're getting a surround on the Shadow Fiend. And if he's not careful, he's going to get picked off fairly nicely. Here they come. They're going to come try to dive in and save this. Don't know if they're going to be able to make it. Bane comes in. Gets picked off. Jakiro's trying to pick the fight, got the Dragonite right behind him. He's trying to juke in the trees and actually walks away with what? Less than 10 health. Very impressive there. Doing a good job of using the trees to his advantage to keep himself where he's unseen. Meanwhile, Slark had to go home. Still only level 3, hasn't hit his level 6, is not going to be able to get up his gank potential if he's not careful. He really needs to get some farm going, but unfortunately... Somebody has to sit on this lane. Oh, but he finds the Venomancer. Goes ahead and stops that mana potion from really doing any real use to him. Not that he did it anytime soon, but at least he did it. Jakiro goes, okay, Radiant's you guys try to smoke? We can try attack. smoke. We may do a smoke. We like smokes. I'd like to see him come up there and do a nice smoke gank on the top and just kind of shut down this group that's been owning this Slark so well. Keeping him in that back position, just really unable to do the damage he wants. Shadow Fiend, on the other hand, is just enjoying this farm. He's getting it left and right. No one's really stopping him. There goes the Illusion Room. Dragon Knight likes illusions. He's going to put it to use. He really just kind of put pressure on the Timber Saw in the mid. He's just been kind of sitting here farming safely. He enjoys the free farm, not really worried too much about it. The gold has still been back up and down. Experience is heavily in Swag's favor as they're doing a very good job of keeping Luna farmed. Look at this, she is sitting here absolutely unadulterated getting all the farm she can handle. Slark on the other hand, trying to pick him off some, really unable to get in there. Gotta be careful though, he might get picked off. Oh. They might get the Venom, they get the Venomancer. Not gonna let him get away there. They're thinking about trying to go after the Luna, just unfortunately not in the good positions to do that. So, they're gonna sit back, take their farm. Sark's gonna have a little bit of time to work on this farm, but not enough really to be effective as he'd like to. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Meanwhile, Dragonite took this time to go ahead and start farming the mid. He wants to take that tower down, and he's gotta be very careful here. Bane wanted to play. If Bane could have got in position, that could have been a bad for him. Did not really re know that skills were down. Everything's on cooldown. He's out of mana. But he's having to get out of there. TPing out. Oh, but they're going after the Shadow Fiend. And he does not have an escape mechanism at this point. They pick him off. That's a big shutdown for him. He's level 8. Doesn't have his ult yet. He spent Dyer's all of it in max in the Necromastery and the Shadow Rays. So he didn't even get to do some damage on his way out. So at this point now, we've got... Oh, there's the smoke. I knew he was going to use it eventually. Timbersaw and Jakiro are looking to cause some trouble. They're trying to convince Slark to go ahead and act like bait. Because... Sarks are good for bait, right? You know, flip around to the backs out here. They really want to catch this Luna. Out. Radiant's middle tower. Is she gets away attack. fairly easily. They kind of give away their thing, but a vendetta has been loaded up on the next assassin, and he's looking to pick somebody off. They just dive in there and destroy into the shade that Slark. But one for one, they pick off the Shadow Shaman. Slark is kind of one they want to keep alive a little bit better, but you gotta take what you can get sometimes. At least don't go away empty handed. Do your damage, take out some things, keep going. Meanwhile, Timbersaw is getting some farm up. Uh oh, Jakiro, not in the spot you want to be in, my friend. 
They're coming up on the backside of you. Oh, Dragon Knight's been nailed. They're trying to take him out, but here comes Nyx coming up behind him, and there's a TP reaction coming in by the Luna. She comes in, ults off, and tries to take them all out on her way through. Oh, misses the Timber Chain. Is he good? Nope, he's not going to be able to escape. Slark was trying to get in there and cause some trouble. Got a couple of Essence shift off. Still is only level 4. Unable to really get in there and do the damage he usually would do at this point. Meanwhile, Shadowfin is doing his job of cleaning up everything he can. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Mid tower goes down. Nothing really they could do about it. Dyer's and bottom, bottom tower, tower gets cleaned up fallen. very nicely. So, tower for tower, not a huge loss for him. But Luna's going back up top for free farm. They're just going to keep letting her get out of control. Shadow Fiend, Dyer's even though he's enjoying his farm, he's attack. not really got the items he needs yet to get out of there safely. He needs some escape mechanism. Whether it's Force Staff, Shadow Blade, something to get him out of there in bad situations. Because they're going to keep coming after him. Last hits are really moving in the favor of the Dyer. They're doing a good Radiant's job of cleaning top things tower up. Is under attack. I mean, Slark pitifully is unable to get in there and do any real damage. They'd like to catch her. They may get her. They're looking for that Luna. They really want to try her out. Radiant's top tower is under Just cannot attack. get in there and do the damage they want. Meanwhile, Shadowfin has moved into the woods. He's going to go ahead and get his farm up. He wants to safely farm his last little bit here. Unfortunately, they figured that out. Attack. Dragon Knight's hunting him. If Dragon Knight can find him in the woods, he's going to do that damage. They hear it. They're looking for him. They're swinging around the backside. Dyer's Looks like they're just going to go ahead and take fortified. the tower instead. Shadow Fiend's kind of abandoning it. He's not going to run the risk. That he's this close to getting this. Is under attack. Well, let's see. He's got Radiant's 1600. Bottom tower is he's going under straight attack. into his BKB. Not going to run that risk. They're going to go ahead and trade tower for tower again. They figure, hey, if you're going to take a tower, we're going to take a tower. It's going to be back and forth. Don't know if I like the idea of Jakira popping back in there trying to pick Radiant's this fight. Because now he can get picked off very well because he does not have the ability of getting back out of there. Tail Whip comes in, trying to take him out, and attack. cleans him out fairly nicely. That was a little aggressive of him to come in there and try to save that tower. I don't think he was expecting it to be that much trouble. Big thing to notice here, though, Shadow Fiend is level 6. And that level 6 will allow him to really put some pressure on their towers. So they have to be very careful now. Timbersaw, on the other hand, looking to start some fights. Not really sure how he wants to take that fight. Messed up the pool there. Nope, they got it. Almost messed up the pool there that Bane was trying to do. Bane was not going to be a happy camper there. But, unfortunately, Shadowfiend's still working in the woods. He's taking his stacks, cleaning things up very nicely, but he's trying to finish up that BKB for the next fight. He's got to get in there and he needs to do the damage he needs to do without getting shut down. Nick's coming around. Vendetta's on cooldown, so he's unable to do any damage. Same with Dragonite. They're kind of limited to their basic skills, but Jakiro is just way out of position again. Shadow Fiend's coming up behind. He's going to go ahead and kick out some serious damage. And unfortunately, they just don't have the chase power right now to really catch him and lock him down. But Timbersaw loves catching people. And Slark, oh, Slark's move speed was in. He finally hit level 6. Really able to get in there and just chase people down. And they're going to go ahead and pick off the Nyx Assassin. Nyx Assassin has been a great chunk of money for these guys. They've cleaned him up fairly nicely Radiant's multiple middle times. Tower is under attack. Bane's going to go over here and try to protect the top Radiant from the Luna. Or at fortified. least deny the tower. Will he be able to get there in time? Do not know. Does get there, denies Radiant's the tower, big tower key, but they're up against losing a mid tower right now. Shadow Shaman hits the pause. Not sure if he's adjusting something or not, but the wards are up, and he could really dive this tower pretty hard and take it with just his wards right now. So they're trying to figure out Radiant's how they want to do this tower fight. Is under attack. I mean, Shadow Fiend's in position. He could really come after and cause some trouble. Bane, unfortunately, might get picked off here if he's not careful. Shadow Fiend's thinking about trying to save him. 
Bane's got to be careful. He's got to back up. Does not have the life or the mana to really pick this fight. So, unfortunately, they have to back away yet again. Meanwhile, Slark's over here just enjoying his farm. He's like, I've been sucking for farm just this long. I'm going to take what I can get now. Once he gets back out of vision, he's just going to go all to town on him. He knows he's still seen. That is one of the things with the Slark. He doesn't have to worry about Vendetta as near as much as when he's wandering around the jungles. Because he can pretty much tell when a ward's around or when someone else is there. Picks up the double damage rune. Kind of daring him to pick a fight with him. And at this point, he could really just kind of sit back and take a relaxing walk. Not the fight you want to have is one-on-one -on -one against the Slark. Goes ahead. Uses his ult. Walks Radiant's out safely. Not going to run any attack. risks. Here they go. They're going to smoke up behind their tower. And now they're going to move out. They know they're in that area. Slark was over there. Oh, I love this. I've done this in a game. People are like, it takes forever to kill him. I'm like, yeah, but you know what? That is the fastest rush you'll ever see with both Venomancer Ward and Shadow Shaman's Wards. But they know it's there. And they're thinking about taking the dive. They want to pick out the fight, they're going to cause a lot of damage here as they try to dive in. But the problem is they still have to go in and get that damage done. There they go, locking them down, not letting them back out, keeping the damage in there. There goes Slark diving in, doing what he can, but unfortunately they're fighting under... Oh, Nyx does so good with that. Timber Chain is getting himself in trouble. Has to be very careful. Trying to shut him down, but he's got to be, oh, just stun after stun after stun. Shadow Fiend was not in the right position, not able to get over here and do the cleanup he needs to do. Might be in position to get there now, though, if he's not caught out. Oh, that magic stick saving his life. For a second. <laughs> For a second. Walks out right in front of the Luna. Luna enjoys free kills. And Slark is in a good position here. He might be able to get over here and pick somebody off. He's kind of waiting to see where they're going to go Radiant's from here. Middle tower has fallen. But if he can get in a good position to come around and do some cleanup, I'm pretty sure he'd enjoy it. Nyx picks up a Blink Dagger. Really going to allow him to get in there. And look at how much of a difference that gold went and the experience right after that rush fight. It was starting to level out as Slark was finally getting his farm. They weren't just kind of parking on him and not allowing him to get anywhere. But unfortunately, he still isn't getting out there and getting what he needs because he was held back so long. He's only level 8. I mean, you look at the difference in levels. He's barely above the supports. Not even. He's in the same level as supports. So he's really been shut down very well. And that's really starting to show here as this game moves forward. No, yet has has yet to die. And that's really going to cause him all sorts of problems. Uh oh. Timbersaw's being a little over aggressive here. Might get himself Dyer's picked out here. They've got to be careful. Look at that defense coming out by the Dire. They are not putting up with this. So much damage come down. Luna comes in. Ults. BKBs and just gonna let them just pick off everybody left and right. Slark's still alive, so's Timbersaw, so's Shadow, but may not be if they're not careful. Shadow Fiend was on the bottom, getting his farm up, trying to get as many items as he can. He's got his BKB ready, but has so many more items he needs to get situated before he can really start picking these fights. Slark's still trying to farm as hard as he can. Anywhere and everywhere he can, he's trying to farm. Middle tower they may lose this attack. next tower here. It's just trying to hold off. Timbersaw's in position. Fallen. Bane comes over here. Nightmare's out the mix. Not going to allow him to cause the trouble he wants. Fiend's grips fallen. up. I'd like to see it used. There it goes on the Dragon Knight. Going to clean him off very nicely. And now they're diving in. They pick off the Luna. And they're in a good position to finish cleaning up this Luna. Venomancer gets his ult off, gets leashed though, and gets cleaned out fairly nicely. Timbersaw is going to get picked off though. Nyx goes down, Slark is looking to do some cleanup. Gets picked off fairly nicely. Timbersaw on the other hand wants to pick him out a Luna. He knows she's there, he's not going to let, and she turns around and takes out the Shadow Fiend on her way out. 
You know the rule, if you're gonna die, try to take someone with you. Oh, so much damage coming out there. Still going hard in the favor of Swag. I mean, they just did so good at controlling that fight, getting off the kills they needed to, and still shutting down so many of the carries coming out of City Nolis. So, City, on the other hand, has got to come over here and do something about this fight. Bane's coming around, wants to do some shutdown, puts a nightmare down on the Shadow Fiend, comes over, picks up that haste, and runs for his life because Dragon is there. But Slark comes into position, and Slark wants to have some fun too. Slark loves free kills, and he'll take every free kill he can get his hands on. Unfortunately, he has to get away from the Nyx. Nyx, on the other hand, same problem. Has to get away. Bane needs to turn around and cause some damage. Can't really get in position. Oh, that's a lucky jump there from the Slark. Lands on top of the Vendetta. Takes him out with a leash. And now Shadow Fiend has to be careful. He's getting surrounded. Doesn't have his rebuild on his souls that he wants so he can really cause some damage. Timbersaw is going to come in. Kind of push him back. They know Venomancer's over there. But they're not going to worry about that as long as they can get some items up. Invisibility, invisibility picked up by the Slark. He likes invisibility. Allows him to slip up behind people and cause all sorts of evil. They know he's there though because he walks right by the that sentry ward. But he still has the capability of getting into a good position if they let him. Venomancer's walking down there. Knows he's there though. They kind of ping him out like, hey, by the way, just saw him walk through. Dyer's and he should know that there's a attack. ward there. And I think... I think he's just noticed there's a ward there, so he's going to step back, take it very, very relaxed there. Now he got his mana redo, so he's ready for another pounce. He's doing a good job, got the smoke up though, and now they're going to rotate looking after that Lena. Luna. Dyer's they want her. Tower is under they attack. can catch her, they will pick her off. Thing is, I think she realizes it and makes a run for it. Goes back behind her tower, protects herself very safely. Jakiro's coming around looking for something to do. Nyx is looking for someone to pick off. Gotta realize there's no one there for him to pick off yet. Jakiro's in a bad position. Shadow Fiend's coming around. But Shadow Fiend's not where he wants to be. He has a lot of farm he needs to finish getting. And now they're thinking about trying to pick him off. Luna, on the other hand, swap sides on him. Moved to the mid lane, so that smoke gank did not work out the way they wanted it to. So they're going to try to go ahead and push this lane. By the way, in case anyone was wondering, Luna already has her Manta, has her BKB, has her Helma Dominator, and should be working on some pretty nasty items here shortly. Slark, on the other hand, is looking to pick off everything and get his hands on. Go ahead, pounces out of the way, starts getting his regen up. Bane! Diving in, taking out that Nyx as best he can. Not going to put up with that. Luna made a run back the other direction, so they don't get a twofer, but they at least got one. Slark is doing a good job of trying to catch up as hard as he can with his farm. Almost has his BKB here in a little bit longer. Oh, got to be careful though. Luna wants revenge, and she will get it. You can't take that fight just yet, Slark. But he's going to slip back out into the bushes, get his heal up, and walk back around. Come in here, take out this mid lane, and he's thinking about going after that shadow, but he has to be careful there. Venomance is right behind him, and even though he's pretty nasty, he's still got to get out of sight long enough to heal. So, got to be careful there. Bane, on the other hand, going to be abused a little bit, kind of forced back, no major issues. Sees the sentry ward, picks it off, walks away. Radiance top tower is under but attack. But look at this stack. They've been working very hard on getting this stack up, and Luna's going to enjoy this. Let's just watch how hard this sucker is about to turn on Luna here. Mm, let's see here. She's at 15 grand. Just don't mind me, guys. I'm going to watch this. And by the way, Roche just respond too. So they're probably going to finish this stack up and then turn around and go get Roche. To back it up because she's now at almost 1700 that farm is just working so well in her favor Thank you. she's almost got her butterfly on work here and they're not stopping and meshed. 
But Sentinel isn't taking the sitting back. They're doing a good job of farming what they can. Roshan has oh, fallen to the dark. But just the the amount of farm that's coming through this swag as they make sure they're picking up every item they need to. Luna now has the Aegis. Got her Eagle Song. Looking at her butterfly as her next major item. And now she's pretty much just gonna walk straight down the mid lane. Uh-oh. They know Timbersaw's up there. They're thinking about going to chase him down or at least sending somebody to chase him out. And she's going to go rob their stack. Because she can. And she needs the money. Obviously. She is one item away from finishing that butterfly, by the way, guys. We're talking less than 700 to get that next item. So, she's definitely going to go ahead and put all the damage out she has to. She's 10 and 1. Definitely in a bad situation. But... It's kind of one of those all the eggs in one basket thing because Dragonite's close behind, but not close enough behind. He's going to have a hard time staying up. He's got his BKB, he's got his Hypersonic, he's working on an AC. Looks like he should be finishing it up here shortly. So once he finishes up that AC, their team fight's going to go a little bit better. But Chrysalis is done on the Shadow Fiend. He's going to be able to kick out some serious damage in very quick turns. Timbersaw, on the other hand, has his Bloodstone and is working on his BKB. Almost has that lined up. Jakiro, just keeping the pressure on, has the mech. Not really trying to farm any particular items. Bane's got his... Oh, but Slark, on the other hand, shouldn't be too far off from his BKB either. They're both working very hard to try to finish up their BKBs to deal with Luna's ults and all. Bane, on the other hand, gets picked off. So does Shadow Fiend. They've already set off the Aegis. So much damage coming down. Jakiro's got to be careful. He's been nailed with the ult. Sparks coming in. Wants some free kills. Enjoys his free kills. Shadow Fiend's in. Got his BKB up. Diving in there. Trying to take out the Luna again. Sparks is looking for another kill. Gets just out of range. But Dragonite's doing the final cleanup there. Just so much damage going over. And they're going to lose their tower. Radiance top tower has Only one left is Slark as he kind of steps back around the side here. He's going to have to kind of deal with the farm problems if you're in the mid. I'm pretty much just going to have to sit back and take things a little lighter. Timbersaw on the other hand, he wants to come be a little payback. Unfortunately, not going to get it. It's not there anymore. Shadow Shaman picks up the four staff. And at this point, he's not going to get called out near as much. When he's in some bad positions. With that fight, by the way, Dragonite rockets up above all the Radiant. BKB just got picked up by Slark as the only surviving member of his team. Because that's what he needed. So, Timbersaw's not too far behind him. But, just hasn't picked it up yet. Doing a good job of trying to double farm camps. Oh, there you go. But they're still working on the ancient stacks. They're still stacking these camps, doing everything they can to keep the stacks building. But Ward just gave them out. Butterflies up, so is the AC. And that's going to make for a really nasty fight next time. With no AC to counter on the other side. Oh, looks like they're thinking about taking the fight here. But Jakiro knows something up, backs away. Sentry Ward's in a good position, lets them know what's going on there. But Vendetta is still very much there. And capability for the damage output is really big. The warding going on in the jungle over here on the dire side. They're not going to put up with it. Dragonite's coming in to try to take out this bottom, bottom tower. tower but they attack. really, really want to take out that Luna. They know she's getting out of control. She is almost double the closest on... The Radiant side, they've got to pick that fight, but they don't want to pick that fight. Radiance bottom tower is Radiance Meanwhile, bottom tower Shadow Fiend's fallen. down here trying to just defend against this push coming up the bottom. Doesn't want to fire off his BKB again. Already had to do it twice before. Slark is looking for a pickoff though. Sees a Venomancer. Thinks about coming after a Venomancer. But he's got to get in the right position. Does not want to get picked off too easily. But if he takes too long, Nick's assassin's gonna come pick him off.
So they all back away safely. Nyx is actually going to get himself in trouble if, if he keeps looking around in the wrong places. Slark just barely skirts around to the backside there. That move speed just helps him so much. Now they're going to keep working on these stacks. Looks like this set's going to be for Dragon Knight. He wants some free farm too. And the AC is really going to help him keep control over this fight. Meanwhile, Nyx Assassin just kind of chilling in lane. Waiting for Vendetta to come back up. And once Vendetta's up, he's going to come in and try to pick off somebody. He knows the capability is there. Jakiro's hanging out in the bushes. Not really getting any major positions. Doesn't want to run any risks. Knows somebody's probably up here. So he's going to stay back there. Sees the Luna come out of the bushes. Stays right there. Pings are going down. They're thinking about taking a fight. Trying to convince somebody to come around. Nyx Assassin's in a good position, but Bane has to be careful here. As they don't see that Nyx. Nyx is in a very good position to put the damage out. And Timbersaw has actually got to be a little careful here. Almost got picked off. Nyx just barely missed that spike carapace trigger for the chakram there. Meanwhile, top lane is almost pushed all the way in. Luna slipped over. She's gone to the bottom lane. She's going to go pick up some farm. She likes ancients. She heard they taste good. And realizes that Dyer is now farming their jungle. This is really going to put a lot of pressure on the Radiant. Big thing to notice here, guys. With everything going on, it's even in kills. With everything going on. But if you look at the difference in the gold graph, that gold graph tells a whole different story. And by the way, guys, that's without Midas. It's without Midas. They're looking at over 12 difference. Experience over five, though it has been kind of back and forth there. Last couple of team fights have been somewhat even. I'm not gonna say even, but somewhat even. So, even with all this farm going on, if they're able to focus down, oh, there goes her satanic though. Oh my goodness. She's just gonna be so nasty. Just a reference, guys. You could take up the bottom three on the radiant side, and they will not add up to the Luna. So if they can shut down that Luna, they could easily take out the rest of those fights. But they have to take down that fight. And the big problem is is Bane has just not been getting the farm he needs. He's not even been able to farm in the woods like he needs to. But he's really way behind on it. Oh, Bane, Bane, get her. There you go, Fiend's Grip, dive in, do the damage, take her out. Just keeping the damage on as much as she can. There she goes, she's gonna ult on top of him though. Timbersaw has to be careful. Actually, could have be picked off by her ult. Jakiro's trying to do the damage, and they're just Radiant's not able to kill her. Are under attack. Goes right back to the, they can't kill her. Slark's trying his best. Slark has the best opportunity, and she's still out farming him, and she's going to get them all. And that's when you know you're in trouble, guys. There goes the GG. You sent Radiant's four people to take out one, attack. and they all came out. Dire so, victory. there it goes, guys. Second game, going to swag. After being at a one, an 0-1 loss, they came back, win two in a row to show that they can still do this, no problems. So, give us a little bit. We'll get you all set up, moving in.